Okay, everybody, I'd like to just show you how I can take a picture of a person and turn that person into a type of silhouette picture that we can use for making vinyl or just to create a silhouette, sort of a black and white sort of picture. Find someone, a picture of a person that you know and love or a celebrity or whatever. Get a picture, copy the image, and in Photoshop, just create a new image. You can paste that image right in there. We're going to make a derivative work. Um, and so filters. Uh, there's a lot of filters we need to do. And I'm trying to remember, I think it's artistic. You can try cutout, for example. It's a filter. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Cutout. Um, when you do cutout, you can see already it takes a photograph and turns it into thicker shapes. You've got number of levels. If you create more levels, it's more like the photograph. If you create fewer levels, you can see what happens. It, it turns it into a shape like this. So if you get the right picture, you can try adjusting the levels, edge simplicity. If you move it to the left, move it to the right, you can see how that image sort of changes. So uh, this is artistic cutout. And so you can do a lot with that edge fidelity. You can play around with the numbers, see how exact or inexact you want it. And uh, it allows you to sort of create different kinds of images. And maybe you've seen one like it. A lot of times this cutout really depends on the original picture that you get. I'm going to leave it like this. And let's try it with a different photo and see different examples of how we can do this. All right, let's try this again. Let's do it with De Niro. Copy an image. Go to Photoshop. We'll try a new image. Now, this one, you'll notice it was black and white. So we may be able to get a better, a better picture using this. We'll go back. Artistic. Cutout. There you go. Uh, even just right off the bat, uh, this would be great if you wanted to do, uh, you got different colors that you can use create some original shapes. There's another one. So again, it's just artistic cutout. So I found another one. I'm going to do Morgan Freeman and because he's just got the best voice ever. Uh, but one of the things I want to do is uh, show you how to do this if you don't have Photoshop. Uh, GIMP is free software you can get. I will maybe do that. But in the meanwhile, there's a web-based one. And it's an online photo editor called Pixlr. If you go to pixlr.com slash editor, um, what you can do is you can pick a picture that you want to use. So let's, um, I'm going to try this one and see how it goes. And maybe we'll take a look at a couple other ones. This looks like that could be a good one too. You pick the picture you're interested in and you can just copy the, the URL right at the top. If you copy the URL, check out what we can do. We can create a new image from a URL. So it's pixlr.com slash editor, open image, URL. You just want to paste in the URL that you copied, control V to paste. Here's your picture. This is already black and white, so it should help. Um, we have a couple things here. Uh, what we can do is we can go to filter art poster and once you're an art poster see how it's already creates sort of what we're looking at we can adjust the amount move it to the left move it to the right and so this one it's a little bit harder we still have lots of little details that we got here um, but it's interesting you can do the inverse you can try it that way you can do it like this um, and so that was filter and it was art poster. Of course, to do a better job, I undid that. Uh, there's a good adjustment called threshold. Check this one out. Threshold. Now we've got some good sharp lines. We can adjust the level. Lighter, darker. Find one you think is about right. And that should give you some of that as well. Lots of little details. Could be hard. From here, you can try adding the poster, uh, art poster to it. Doesn't seem to make a lot of adjustment after there. 
But so you've got a couple tools on Pixlr that you can use. So the main one there was adjustment uh, threshold. Let's see if posterize can do anything to add to it. No. So threshold is probably the one that you want. It's probably the best bet for that. Um, another option you have if you don't have uh, if you don't have Photoshop is you can go to gimp.org, go to downloads. I would recommend you download it directly. And then you can set that up and use it. Okay, so I found a picture of Samuel L. Jackson. And so what I'm going to try on GIMP is I'm going to save it first. I'm going to save it just into my library's pictures. And I'm going to try opening it in, in GIMP. So in GIMP, when you download it, and like I said, this is open source, so it is free. And so we just need to open up the libraries of pictures. There it is. I should probably check to see the name of the picture. There it is. So it turns out GIMP also has a threshold. It's under colors, threshold. And you take this little slider here, you can move it left or right to get the detail you're looking for. So you can play around with some of these settings until you get what you're what you're trying to do and then click OK. So threshold, same kind of thing. Depends on the picture you have. You may want to get one that already has some of that built in. There's one other option you might want to try and that's under colors, posterize. And then you can adjust the levels back and forth. You go to two colors, and it sort of does a lot of the same kind of thing that you've done there. So posterize or threshold. Okay, there's one last touch-up you can do. It's under filters. And let's see if I can find where that went. Artistic photocopy. There it is. Artistic photocopy. And you can play around with these colors here. Change the sharpness level. And if you adjust percent white, percent black, you can get some uh, pretty interesting details here. Click OK. And that's a little bit rougher than maybe you want. Uh, let's try it without. Let's just try it just like this. Filters artistic photocopy click OK with those settings there that gives you more design there's some detail in the background you might want to erase but if you had GIMP that would be another tool worth using so hopefully between these many different tools you'll find one that works for you